Is Gillian Freighter here? Yes, please come forward. Um, first of all, the Littleton Tennis Club submission. Thank you. Welcome, thank you. Kura koutou, uh, my name is Gillian Freyta and this is Christy Kauda and we're here for the Littleton Tennis Club but also I think for the people of Littleton because the tennis courts in Littleton are open to the public so we don't have exclusive use of them by any means. Um, we're a pretty tiny club and in case you don't know where we are and even a lot of people in Littleton don't know where we are so <laughs> it's quite understandable. Um, we are in Liverton, of course, but round, you come out of the tunnel, you turn right, and as though you're going to Governor's Bay, and then you veer off to the right, there's a small street called Cressy Terrace, and we are up there. So on the map, it's that little green blob round to the left, which is labelled as Cressy House. Well, Cressy House is right next to it, so that's why that's there. So they're tucked in there, and this is the... the view from above, so the aerial view. So you've got Cressy Terrace kind of winding around up above and the all the green <coughs> roof there is all Cressy House, which is just a big building these days. Um, and then two tennis courts in there. So this is what the courts look like. There's just two of them. Um, so that's looking towards um, Cressy Terrace sloping up to the back there and the wall at the back I'll mention that a bit again later because that is a wall that's now got another fence in front of it so uh, because I think some engineers have said that it uh, needs to be replaced. So there's that there. Um, this is what the club rooms looked like in 2011 so there's a small little building there um, and we got organised in and did some fundraising, that's the back wall, it was the back wall, what was left of it, and we got some funding from Vodafone, we got about $40,000, and so we got cracking and to save the, what we saw as an historic building. Uh, so this is what it looks like now, uh, so we had some help from the council too, so the council contributed to the exterior painting and also to some of the plumbing associated with it. So there's been a bit of money invested around in, in the area in the past. That's what I'm one of my messages really. Um, that was our little opening. I think Councillor Turner might have been there somewhere. Can't see any picture. Um, and we so we've got a, a bit of a community. Basically all we do though, we're tiny, we're not Elmwood, we're not Waimari or anywhere. We're not a, we're a tiny little tennis club and all, mostly what we do is run coaching for children. So a few of the parents then and the children chip in with working bees. We also kind of monitor what's happening with graffiti and things like that around the site. Um, and we get help from the council with fixing that. That's another working bee. We had quite a bit of damage after the earthquakes, so that was just on the lower area which is Sea View Terrace, um, so that was what happened as a result of the earthquake. It's been fixed up, so that was paid for by council. Then there's been a couple of other areas where there's been problems. So this is on the, the back wall, um, the southern wall of the courts, goes up towards some neighbours up above. And that's what it looked like down on the ground. So not great for tennis because the ba that's the baseline there that we're looking at. So you kind of, yes, not, not good at all. The dirt came right up to the edge. But uh, the council has then did this a couple of two years ago, I think it was. Um, I think it cost upwards of $200,000 for that. So it's, it was a big big undertaking, so quite a bit of money invested there. And that's just some of the other graffiti. But the thing is that the court surface still hasn't had any, there's been no change. I've been in Littleton for 27 years. 
Uh, so there's been no change to it since then, and this is what we have to deal with when we go down there in the afternoon on uh, when the lessons are on. And someone like me has to sweep this puddle, which takes about half an hour and is quite hard going. Mm -hmm. And you kind of sweep, and the water, half the water comes swishing back at you. So, and then you still get left with quite a lot of water sitting around on the court. So that's the current situation. Um, and there's also a few, quite a few holes in the court. This one's off to the side, but often in tennis you run off the court to hit the ball. Um, and this is on the other side, so that's within, that's one of the court lines, the doubles line, so that's kind of within the court. That's it from the other angle. So you don't really want to run into those holes, <laughs> as you can imagine. And this is the back wall which uh, is next to Cressy Terrace and we, the, the stairs were fenced off. In fact they were fenced off on the day when the, building work was, when the builder was coming to work on the building and I got a call from one of the council staff members and said oh we're going to fence off the steps and I said what? <laughs> because that meant our builder couldn't get up there. But the builder bought, built some temporary stairs a bit further along, which is still there actually now, quite a few years later. But then just last year, this other fence went up um, right next to the wall, which is a little bit ineffective, and balls go under, the, under that fence, and then we just walk around behind the fence to pick them up, of course. So um, I don't think, well, I go and pick them up there. <laughs> so it's sitting there at the moment, and it's, I guess, pending... Um, some potential work in the future. So I, it looks like it would be, yes, a massive job, but the wall has been there for a long, long time and nothing, it hasn't, well, it, it's been there for the 30 years that I remember anyway. So that's the situation up there. Um, and my other point was, is that in Littleton there's not that much flat land. So the t things like tennis courts are quite valuable. I know that just recently there's been a move to make part of the grass just above the, tenor, the um, swimming pool and on Oxford Terrace available for the public all year round, whereas at the moment you can only go there if you pay to go in during summer. So that's because of the scarcity of the flat, flat land around there. And I think that was part of the master plan for Lifton, which is why that is happening now. Yeah, so... Um, I guess overall we, we, we've been talking to council staff for about the last seven years about this and we would just like, if possible, for some progress to be made and for it to be recognised as something that might have some priority in terms of the long term plan. Excellent. Um, oh, no. did, did you want to add to it? Uh, no, totally support everything Gillian says. It is. Um, we live along Seaview Terrace, so we see it being used by the public fairly con um, regularly in summer. So it is a valuable piece of, um, as Gillian said, flat land in Littleton. It's very much in need of some more investment. Mm. Very good. All right. Any questions? Uh, Phil? So I'm just wondering if as part of the funding, because um, council has supported you before, if you're aware of the community loan scheme, so that of course that would have to be paid back, it isn't like a grant, but it's a, a good rate. Mm. No, not really. Mm. Yes, we could talk, talk we to staff about that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Yanni? Oh, sorry, Andrew. That's, that's okay. Just, um, so, are you aware of the sports network plan that council's developing, and has Canterbury, sorry, is it Tennis Canterbury or Canterbury Tennis, I always get it run the wrong way, but have they talked to you about the priorities for tennis? No. no we can follow. One person at the council we've been dealing with recently called Ian Davidson, I think. Um, but he's very hard the last few times I haven't been able to get hold of him. And I don't, maybe that's, is that a different part of the um, well, My council? understanding council staff were working through the, the body for the codes, like, you know, for football, it's mainland football, for tennis, I presume it would be tennis, Canterbury, and they were getting a list of um, 
playing surfaces fields right. that were a priority, you know, to be repaired. Perhaps we could follow that up with the with the um, sporting code, um, Andrew. Mm. Thank you. Um, I'm aware of the frustrations that you've had as a group for, for some time. I mean, this obviously has been going on since the earthquakes and, you know, I, I was there at the celebration when the pavilion was reopened and, you know, it had always been my hope we would have had some of these fi things fixed before now. But clearly this is quite a large project that involves some, of, uh, some major works on the road reserve as well. Have you been given any indication by our staff as to when those works on the road reserve and the retaining wall are, are likely to occur? I think at the moment, no. No. Uh, it was... Well, we keep asking, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it's... I don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah, so a first step would be to follow that up and then make sure that any works on the tennis courts follow, but obviously to get this um, sped up and expedited as quickly as possible. I'm not sure if there's any, if there's been any uh, agreement to resurface the courts. Well, we have had some verbal agreements, but, um, you know, officially whether that's going to happen or not. I know that, yes, the road sounds like that's probably going to happen, but we, do, we don't have much information. Yeah. All right. Mm. Thank you very much for your um, submission. Um, but Gillian, if you.